Mitchell Ivan Grissom was born in Mitchell, Indiana on April 3, 1926, but everyone called him Gus. Gus attended public schools and graduated from Mitchell High School in 1944. He was always interested in flying, so after high school, he enlisted as an aviation cadet in the United States Army Air Corps and served in World War II. After the war, he attended and graduated from Purdue University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. Gus then re-enlisted in the newly formed United States Air Force and flew fighter jets in the Korean War. On April 9, 1959, President Dwight D. Eisenhower selected Gus Grissom and six other men to become Project Mercury astronauts. Gus was going to get his chance to help America put a man in space. On May 21st, 1961, President John Kennedy made a statement to challenge all Americans that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Gus finally made it to outer space in 1961 as the pilot of Mercury Redstone 4, a suborbital spaceflight. When the Gemini project began, Gus was also a big part of the missions, planning, and designing. He was designated command pilot for Gemini 3 in 1964. This was the first manned Project Gemini flight and would make him the first astronaut to fly twice beyond the accepted boundaries of space. The space program was advancing with each new launch and Gus was a big part of each plane. The Apollo program was being developed as NASA was now planning to put the first man on the moon. Chief astronaut Deke Slayton wanted one of the astronauts from the Mercury mission to be the first man to walk on the moon, and Gus was his first choice. But tragedy happened on January 27, 1967. With the Apollo 1 launch, the command module caught fire during a pre-launch test at Cape Kennedy. With the lethal design hazards in the early Apollo module, Gus Grissom and fellow astronauts Ed White and Roger B. Caffey died in that fire. Gus never got his chance to walk on the moon, but his work with the American Space Program did help America get to the moon and back safely. Gus.